Hello, hi there, it's Pip here. It is your mo Moody Monday pick-me-up lunchtime on Monday, the so 29th. Um, didn't see you last week because it was Easter, which was a bit of a shame. So I've kind of got two weeks worth to load into one, so please bear with me. Um, I thought I'd start off with some, uh, just working through some of the swaps that I got on stage. I'm still unpacking from on stage because this weekend I had retreat. So the last two weeks I've just been absolutely focused on retreat. But I thought I can't not share all of these gorgeous swaps. So I'm just going to run through a couple of those and then I have some uh, stamping to do and a little box to, to do. Oh, hi, Lisa Jane. Oh, and Lisa also. Lisa's on and Linda's on. Everybody's joining. Oh, that's great. Wow, look at you all. <laughs> You're all waiting for me. So first of all, uh, this was my swap from on stage. Um, I'm trying something new with the lighting and I'm hoping that it's kind of working. It does need to be a little bit brighter if I can make it, but without kind of going whitewashed. So this was my swap, which I think I've shown you before, just to talk about Lemon Lime Twist because I'm so sorry it's going. And then this was a swap I got from the lovely Jan Byrne. So that was really nice. She came out to me and she said that she'd been following me on Facebook and on YouTube. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. I love I love um, hearing from people who are enjoying my um, videos. This was from my friend Katie. She's one of my team. Um, I love how she's kind of lassoed the zero over the over the dog. And I know the numbers have gone, but hey, do you know what? I don't care. She also did. Um, oh, that's going to make that bright now. She also did another one. Uh, using the letters which I know are also going I'm really sad about these letters disappearing uh, and I think it's I have a feeling this confetti um, embossing fold is going too which is a bit of a sad thing uh, I have not processed the whole of the retirement list yet I am just still working my way through retreat and I have retreat again in two weeks so I've done one weekend and I've got another weekend coming up so it's all go all go 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 uh, but this one uses the lovely stamps from that's either varied vases or normal vases and um sorry varied or vibrant vases and then obviously the letters to do an ellipse card with smile oh, that's really nice i'm gonna have to cut kind of keep them lined up because otherwise my lighting goes weird that's what i've worked out so that's that one so then this one is from the lovely uh, pauline powling and this again uses i mean look at that beautiful work with the flowers there uh, from varied vases I believe yes varied vases and the uh, vase builder punch isn't that lovely isn't that nice and all of these little flowers are uh, these are all fussy cut out and the leaves punched or, or cut out and uh, that's just that's just yummy uh, and then this is a gorgeous card using the wonderful moments which I'm very pleased to say is not nearly us and this is from who's this from uh, well, it just says Lindsay's, Lindsay Liz, Thames Yard, something like that. That's her email address. So I'm not quite sure. But isn't it beautiful? Lovely oval scallop work there on top of another oval, which is nice. And the beautiful tufted embossing folder, which is uh, staying, which is nice. And the spotty ribbon, which is also staying. So that's also good. Then we have the F for friend and that lovely i like that with the um what's that that's the petal petal punch and what's the stamps timeless textures love what you do and pop of petals that's what it is pop of petals uh, and she's used this beautiful background handwriting stamp which i really love actually i've not seen that up close but that's really really nice so i like that and a wash and then an f oh, just it's just pretty i really like that so, oh, so I didn't tell you who that was from. <laughs> that was from Elizabeth Bennett. Well done, Elizabeth. First time I on stage. We like that. Okay, and then this one is another very vase. Uh, hoping your day blooms with happiness. Just a beautiful, simple stamping. Uh, who's that from? Oh, I'm going to check who it is from. If I can get a little little bit up here oh look Sandra's on Hannah's on oh of course it's disappeared down the bottom of the thing here we go Catherine oh that's from Katie again very oh, wonderful thanks Katie yeah that's nice nice simple stamping example we like those uh, and this one then is welcome little one and it's on very burst and it's got these gorgeous little elephant punches aren't they just adorable and that's with the paper from um, a needle put needlepoint nook I think 
which is just so cute. And that's from Helen Holden. Hello, Helen. Oh, yes. That's just beautiful. Bit of embossing paste there. That's staying. We like that. And a little, um, just a great use of a little um, rectangle framelit there, actually. I've never, I've not seen the little tiny one done before. That's lovely. I must get mine out and give that a go. I love those elephants. I don't have them myself, but I do love them. So, and then this one's from one of my team, Janina Allen. Again, first time on stage attendee. And a, again, a, just a beautiful, simple stamping example. Gorgeous colours, beautiful bouquet, which I think is staying. I hope it's staying. That's lovely, that. Uh, and then this is a, um, this is one of, you can always tell one of Jill's and Jill's um, creations because it's a pop up thing. So <laughs> this is from Jill by Jill Moore and it sort of stands up like that. And it's, um, it's again using the, the, butterfly gala which is staying and the gorgeous gingham paper which sadly isn't staying um two big girls crafting that's where that's from that's lovely and then here we have some more coming along so let's start with this one fable friends so glad that this one's staying i don't actually have it um but it is gorgeous and that's from suzanne lovely suzanne who's my sister in stampin up one of my stampin up sisters um, and then this, look at this with the host set. Isn't that cute? Can you see that? All that all that balloon work. It's just fabulous. Um, and that is from Crafts by MG. Michelle Gardner, that's from Michelle Gardner. It's lovely. <laughs> so cute. Uh, and then this one is from my lovely friend, I thought it was, Louise Sims. So Stampin' Delight, look at that. that just gorgeous work with that country floor and I'm so glad that folder's coming back again uh, in the new catalogue. Really pleased that that's going to be carried forward. Uh, and some spotty ribbon and some lovely um, greys and pinks. That's nice. And then this one is from, well, again, one of my teamy, Carol. Um, and that's used again. Is that the varied? Or the, yeah, varied, varied vases. I love this technique she's done here with the She's used the brush end on her stamps and it's given it a beautiful texture on the vases. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But it's a lovely kind of um, brushwork texture. It's really nice. Bit of Winker Stella on there. Again, another great simple stamping. And then we've got... Um, now, I don't even know what this sets. I don't even know where this is from. It's one of the ones like... Um, that goes with the detailed doilies, I think, or something like that. But yes, that's lovely. That's from Carrie. Carrie Bates, nice. Then we've got this one from one of my teamies, which is a, um, uh, what's this using? This is using uh, half full, that's what it is. Half full, lots of um, different colours with uh, markers and pens. And it says, I think that tag moves. I'm going to get it out of this. I'm going to get it out of here because I have a feeling that that tag. Yes, look, see the tag moves. Isn't that cute? So <laughs> it's a movable tag. I like that. Um, wine improves with age. We improve with wine. <laughs> That's marvellous. I don't know if this one's carrying forward. I really don't. So um, we'll have to have a look at that. It's from Jane Wilson. Uh, then we've got this one. Flowers are no, Friends are Flowers in the Garden of Life, which is a lovely sentiment. I'm not sure where that one's from. This is from Kathy Marie, Kathy Marie Creations. I'm going to open this up because I just want to see where that's from. I, I know the rest of this is from the gorgeous Beauty of Bounds set. So let's see what we've got here. A big thank you, she says. So that's nice, isn't it? gorgeous so that's lovely and i'm glad that beauty of Bounds is going to continue on and then finally this one i leave left this one to last because i just think it's pretty colors this is from lynn cheesemore cheesemere um and this is tropical chic isn't that gorgeous and she's embossed i don't know if you can tell but she's she's like heat she's she's um run it through the embossing folder the subtles embossing folder but she's heat embossed it as well, I'm sure. Yeah, it feels like it. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe she's just run it through the 
Subtle's embossing folder, but it looks like it's been embossed on the Saska. Oh yeah, white embossed powder for the flowers, that's for sure. Mm, very nice. Bit of white frost shimmer paint on there as well. But it's just got a lovely texture to it. I really like that. And some splatty bits on. And this Subtle's embossing folder is just gorgeous. So I really like that one. Hi Jenny. Oh, Jenny's just joined. Jenny, you just missed your card. I was going through all the swaps and stuff from uh, on stage. Okay, so what do we think? Do we like that? Give us a thumbs up, everybody. Let me know that you're there and you can hear me. My internet the other week was a bit bad, so I just want to make sure that everyone can actually hear what's going on. So if you're still there and you're still watching, please give me a thumbs up. It will help a lot while I get rid of that little lot and we move on to um, the next stuff. So what have we got here? Emma, beautiful card and morning. Hello, Emma. Morning. Oh, look, I'm getting thumbs up now. Thank you, guys. Yay. <laughs> that's all very good. Okay. So that's great. So I've only done, oh, look at that. I can't see. Can I've only done the, um, uh, what have I done? I've only done the um, uh, flat swaps at the moment. Okay. So I've only done the ones that are, um, card fronts card actual cards card fronts whatever that's what i'm trying to say so um i will do the 3d ones uh next okay so that'll be the next video that i do right so and if you want to see your swap i will of course be putting all this up onto um <laughs> up onto on onto my youtube channel so you can uh, see them up on there and then you can um see more about what i'm doing next so i've decided that today we're going to talk about butterfly gala I can't wait for it any longer. I love it too much not to show it. So um, this whole week is about Gingham Gala. And that's actually what this week is about, uh, which is this gorgeous collection of lovely papers, which lots of people used with their swaps. And sadly, is leaving us. I'm devastated. I really am, because it's beautiful. Um, thanks, Emma. Cheers. Hi, yeah. Hi, Jenny. So yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm devastated that Gingham Gala is going. So I'm doing a whole week focusing on Gingham Gala um, and what you can do with it. The good news is that Gingham, the actual Gingham stamp itself isn't leaving. So we can still kind of make the same stuff, um, you know, ourselves. But I thought, well, I, I just want to use Butterfly Gala. So, so use it or shall. So we still can't get it. This is not like a hint or tip that this is going to be um available now and it's all whatever but hopefully i'm um, fingers crossed it's coming soon so yeah i just decided i would make a little pizza box um which hopefully you can see but it might be a little bit bright again let's turn oh, come on get your, get your light sorted out be happy there we go so it's got gingham girl around the side all the way around the side and then on the top we have some Gingham Gala, some Mango Melody uh, cardstock, a little bit of Whisper White cardstock, and then the butterflies. And then inside, oh, it's got some chocolate. <coughs> Chocolates that came courtesy of my friend Lola from, the, from uh, Germany. Right, and it uses as our base, obviously I'm not going to do that one again, because that would be boring. <laughs> so it uses as its base one of these pizza boxes. All right. Now, if you were lucky enough to get some free with Celebration, that's great. Um, but if you haven't got any free from Celebration, you can buy them uh, still. And they're still available. And they're going to be available uh, in the next catalogue too. So that's good. I thought I had two here. Let's open them up like that. There we go. So this is how they, this is how they arrive. And then this is what you turn them into. Okay. So we're going to be looking at different butterflies, different colours, uh, and seeing how we can put that together. So, the pizza boxes are very simple in how they go together. You should just start folding. They've got plastic inside them, you can see that. That means that they're food safe. Okay, it means that they're not going to leak oil all over your nice design um, at the front. Uh, it also means they're clean and hygienic, etc. So, that's also good for food. You take these two little tabs off that sit in here take these two little tabs out so you've got an empty space there and then just keep folding I always do my sides first and then I do this one and I turn it around and do this one and then don't forget the lid now this one you just need to pop out your little thumb hole 
here. Make sure that pops out and then fold that down, fold that down and that down. And then it's just a question of folding in your sides. Okay, it's a bit like one of these pizza boxy things that you get. And then pop those in like that. And then pop that in like that. There you go. And that's your box done. So it doesn't take a lot to do your actual box. And then what I've done is I have pre-cut a whole bunch of stuff, which I'm going to tell you what, it, what all the measurements and stuff are, because I know you want to know. Um, I've also pre-stamped a few butterflies, but we're going to stamp some more so you can see how they stamp. And then we're going to look at some colouring in. And of course, I'm going to change from the yellow and do blue and purple. Um, because you know me and I like my purple. So I thought I'd do a yellow one because I don't often do yellow. So I thought I'd do a yellow one just to show you. And then we'll do another blue one. Uh, Lisa says, are they carrying on? Yes, they. I think they are carrying on, Lisa, because I had a look. Um, the other day thinking oh, I've got a stash of them I hope they're carrying forward and I think they are so that's good so um, so that's excellent so let me talk about the stamp set so here's the stamp set itself uh, it has all these different various butterflies and you can stamp them um, just as they are or you can use these pieces in the middle to add color so if you stamped this one first you could then add wings top and bottom of different colours onto the butterfly. The good thing about this that I like is that they stamp all together. So on your block, they stamp as one whole image. Okay, so you colour them up and you stamp two at the same time. And then the punch that matches with them cuts out two at the same time. So it's pretty genius, really. Um, Lisa says she likes to use them for making for my koala charity. Oh, Lisa, that's fab to have a koala charity. I like that. Um, yes, and, and they are great little boxes. They're great for prizes. You can put little biscuits or cookies inside. Biscuits, is, biscuits and cookies are actually the same thing, but have very different meanings across the pond. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Our, our biscuits in the UK would fit in there, or your cookies um, in the States would go in there. And uh, you could give them as little gifts. You can put little three by three cards, note cards, etc. in there. There are so many things you can do with them. And as you say, um, stamping them up, packing them up and selling them for charity. Just make sure that you put your Stampin' Up logo on the back and you're good to go. And you can make a ton of money doing that. That's really good for, for a good cause. So. As I say, I love the fact that the Stampin' Up! have designed it so you punch, you stamp the butterfly and you punch it out in one go. I have a feeling that that's why it's sold out so quickly, because that's an, just ingenious and really useful. So I I think that was it. That was the issue, was that they were too good at what they did. So I have here some different ones that I've stamped so that you can see a couple of the different ones. Uh, this is the feathery one. I really like this. It's like it's almost leaves actually that's inside, but it's it it makes it looks feathery. And then this one is like the traditional butterfly. Oops, traditional butterfly. Um, and then you've got a couple that are. This one's like Zentangle. Uh, I'm gonna have to stamp that I think so that you can see it. But it's it's like a Zentangle drawing so that you can actually go in and colour it. So I'll just stamp one of these. So I'm using Memento because I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends because why wouldn't you? And um, yeah my Stampin' Blends still I still need to get them into their new home but they are getting there. So I'm just going to stamp this down. Now I'm not using a mat, I would normally use a mat. I'm just hoping this is going to come out alright. Yep there we go. And then Oh, hi, Karen. Karen's here. Um, oh, and Thelma's on. Hi, Thelma. Nice to see you too. So, yes, yeah, so this one, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but I have got allegedly a zoomy thing on here. So, let's see if I can get the zoomy thing to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now, let's see if I can do this for you. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. See? So hopefully now you can see the, the complete zentangle effect of this versus the actual traditional butterfly look of that. Is that working for you guys? Let me know if it is. It looks look good here. And then this is the feathered the feathered butterfly. See which they look like leaves, but I mean they are actually leaves, but I think it looks like feathers. I think it looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh hey Lola, nice for you to join us. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to come back to normal normal view. Okay. Good. That seems to work. Nice. Okay. So, or at least it did here, so fingers crossed for you guys there. So as you see, as you can tell, there's lots of different designs that you can do. And I thought I would show you how I colour these in. So I've got my Highland Heather and my Balmy Blue blends because they're the ones that match with the colours I'm going to be using for my papers. So the gingham paper comes in Balmy Blue, Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, Highland Heather and Grapefruit Grove, which is nice because it, it, it kind of covers all the spring summery feel, which is of course what it was for. So I lay down first of all my dark colours. So I'm going to lay down some dark Highland Heather right in the centre there. And then some dark Highland Heather in there. And notice that I'm not doing scrubbing backwards and forwards. Okay. You never do like that. It's not very good for your pens. Um, I try and do just small movements with them. Or if I'm colouring something a bit bigger, then I'll do circular motions with the thin tip. This is the thin tip. Don't try and do circular motions with your fat tip because it will make it go very funny. It won't be good for it. Okay, so I'm just laying down some dark colour there. Maybe I need to zoom in a bit here, maybe that would help. I'll try and see that. Oh, look at that, that's really close. Okay, let me know if you can see that, okay. So if you can, we're going to go with that. Oops. Uh, can you colour with the right markers, as I don't use alcohol markers with Barney Round? As they don't come off his fingers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, they don't come off your fingers. Uh, yes, of course you can. Absolutely, of course you can. You just won't get the same blend. Oh, so let me bring my right markers out. So this, this is my Highland Heather. So first of all, I, I would use stays on probably rather than um, Memento because obviously you need opposite inks. So generally I would use uh, an alcohol-based ink like stays on if I'm using my right markers. But I don't know whether you can see the difference in colouring. I don't know if it's obvious enough in this camera. Probably not. We need to do it on a bigger piece. So supposing I was colouring in this big section here. If I do that, hopefully you can see that there are lines in there. Okay, but if I do it with this, for a start, they're slightly different colours because this is a dark Highland Heather, this is a light Highland Heather. But this one just smooths out and blends out, and you can go back in and you can just blend out any lines that you might have. So if I go in with some more colour, I can actually just blend it all together. And then it won't show you that I've gone over the top of this with different pens. So that's the difference. Can you, hopefully you can see that, the difference between this one will leave lines because it dries instantly. This one, at being alcohol, doesn't dry instantly, starts to seep into the paper and then allows more movement of ink. So that's the difference between the two. Um, good, you can see what I mean. Excellent, okay. So, but I do agree, alcohol markers with little ones is difficult uh, because you do want to make sure that they're not getting it everywhere. So, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, 
and the thing is you can go over if you did something like something small like this with your right markers you'd be fine um, and then if you wanted to you could do different colors but for this one I'm going to what am I going to do I'm going to add a little bit of light purple the Highland Heather which is my I just love this color there we go. just a little bit to each of the wing tips like this and then in these dots down here and I always use the thin end for the really um, tiny stuff I find it easier to work with okay. and then I'm going to blend over the top with my light balmy blue to start off with and if you use your thicker end of your uh, of your blends you want to just do these kind of strokes okay you don't you don't want to be doing scratchy strokes or digging around with it or um, I don't know you know lots of like coloring as I would call it uh, because you will you will break down the fibers of your blend I mean they're going to break down eventually anyway and you they get softer as you use them but you don't want to get them chewed. You don't want the ends to start to be chewed because then um, you will lose the finesse with what you're doing and what you're blending. So I'm continuing to blend with the blue, the lighter blue, but you can see where I haven't gone as far up to the edges, then it's now already looking lighter. And then I'm going to come in with a bit of dark. Again, just feather it in. And you can feather it either way, it doesn't matter. And then just make this bit a bit darker. And then suddenly you start getting some really nice blended butterflies going on. And these are pretty, I like these. Now you do need to work with it quite quickly while it's wet. Um, you know, normally you would recommend to just do one one element at a time so one wing at a time one butterfly at a time but if you have left it like i left it then when i was chatting with emma about the about the different right markers etc that's okay just keep going back um, and you can just go back and you can just keep adding and the more alcohol you add with your markers the more they will start to blend again there we go so that's my colouring fix in for the day. <laughs> Hopefully you can see. Hey Pat's on. Hey, hello Pat. How are you? So hopefully you can see that that's nicely blended there as a nice blended butterfly. Let's put it around the right way. You can see that. So now I'm going to line it up with my punch. Like that. Okay, can you see that? So it's nicely lined up. And then we have, oops, if I can turn them over, pretty butterflies. Now, I always punch mine out before I put this uh, little antenna, uh, the little bodies in. Hey, Miss Patricia, it's very nice that you're with us today. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you for all the lovely hearts and shout outs. Uh, so I'm going to use some Highland Heather to put the bodies in. Just because I think, well, why they, they could have hairy purple bodies. I'm sure I'll have to ask Sean, he'll know. But I reckon I reckon there's a butterfly in the world for me that's got this in. So you just go straight down. I hope I'm not getting my head in view. Although someone said to me I should put my head in view because um, then you'll then you can see my hair. So um, if I get my head in view, obviously I've done it on purpose so that you can see my hair. Okay. There we go. Well, it doesn't matter if you get them a little bit. Oh, that's a lot wonk. Okay, if you get it a lot wonk, then you might want to go back in and do it again. <laughs> that's a bit better. There we go. Um, so that's the bodies of the butterflies. You don't have to do their little antenna because they're going to be on a box. So you're not going to you're not going to see them because they're they're going to be like in the air. I'm not going to be cutting around antenna, I can assure you. Right, so 
Now we're going to do the box itself and start decorating that. And I just, I love Balmy Blue and Highland Heather together. I think it's a match made in heaven. So let's talk about how all the sizes of all this stuff. Oh, Barry's on. Hello. And Katie, Katie, you missed your thing earlier as well. You've all had shout outs for your, um, for your um, swaps earlier. So you need to go and have a look at it again. I was doing swaps from on stage. So I've cut some pieces previously because you don't want to just see me cut stuff. That's boring. Um, some strips of the gingham gala on the balmy blue. These are eight and a half by two and a half centimeters. Now these boxes are imperial. Okay, they are actually in imperial measurements. Um, but I know some of you don't like imperial measurements, so I've done them in centimeters. However, if you are imperial, it's basically just shy of three and a half inches by one inch. Okay, just so you know. Uh, and then I've used, I'm going to do the, this one I used the small check. I'm going to use the big check on this one, see how this one looks. Okay. I love the pizza boxes too. Uh, it wouldn't be hand, <laughs> it wouldn't be handmade without some wonk. No, exactly. That's a, that's a handmade technical term, I think. So, well, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So we're going to, I'm not going to do the, the front one just yet. I'm just going to do this back, the sides and back first, and then show you what I did with the front. So, a little bit of pizza. Pizza? No, a little bit of gingham gala. Deary me. Obviously, it's lunchtime, you see. I've got I've got food on the brain. So, I hope that you're enjoying your lunch whilst watching me and not depriving yourselves of food out there. You know, because you should be able to at least watch me and have your lunch. That's, that's the whole idea of Moody Monday Pick Me Up, is that you've had a possibly a rough morning at work and you just want a bit of chill a bit of chill out a bit of fun fun crafty stuff to look at during your lunch hour and if you're not at work we just want fun crafty stuff whenever we can get it okay now where's my other little thing so the pizza box at the front we do need to use this little half inch circle punch which again, thank goodness, is not leaving us because I have to say some of the circle punches are going, which I'm a little bit sad about. I use my circles a lot, um, but obviously everyone's got them or they don't, um, you know, people don't use them as I've told stamp it up, they don't use them as much as they do their, uh, their dies and stuff. So, you know, some of the punches are going. Uh, some of the punches are already gone. But anyway, we will, we will persevere. At least a little half inch is still staying, so I'm happy about that. Okay, now I've again got a little bit of a want going on, but I'm not going to worry and stress about that. There we go. And that just gives you that, so that when you do this, it matches. Okay, so you've got that gap there. See that? Uh, I'm missing some comments. Here we go. Oh, Emma's crafting along with me. Oh, that's nice. Oh, to make an example booklet. Excellent. Oh, yes, you make good ones of those, don't you, with your dies and your stamps. I like that. Okay, so then for the top, I'm using a piece of Balmy Blue uh, cardstock this time. And this is, which one's this? This is 8.5 by 8.7. It's 8.7 because this needs to be just a little bit longer. So if this is 8.5, see, it leaves that little tiny gap at the top there. So I've just made that 8.7 and then it seems to fit better. All right, in Imperial, for our American friends, that's you, Patricia, um, that's three and a half by three and a half. Yeah, three and a half by three and a half. So that's the top. Very simply, just pop that on. Bit of glue. Make sure you get it the right way around. I think this is the right way around, she says. Hopefully, yes, that looks right. There we go. We're just going to put that on there. And I like to give it a good a cover all the way around when I'm doing this with paper, just because, quite frankly, it's a very, very tiny box, this size, you know, in the side uh, depth of it. So if you do much smaller than that, you're not really going to see very much. So um, we will do that. Uh, oh, Patricia, you're up at... Pat's up at 6.32 a.m. in Texas. Rock on, Texas. Hello. And it's 9.30 p.m. in Australia. Well, you know, you guys, Patricia, I'm waking your day up with crafting, which is always a good thing to do. And Wendy, 
you're just easing into your night time with a bit of crafting to help you sleep better. There you go. See, it helps all over the day. The whole day can be improved with a bit of crafting. Okay, so then this piece of gingham gala is eight and a half by six centimetres, which will be what? That will be two and a bit inches. Let me just measure that for you, Pat. There we go, pop that in there. What did I do? What did I do? Two and a half, just shy of two and a half. Two and, no, yes, just two and, what's that? One, two, three eighths, two and three eighths, something like that. There we go. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which I'm going to pop on top. So that's uh, four and a half centimetres, which is just shy of two inches, isn't it? That's one and three quarter inches. There we go. Again, by the same width. And I'm going to stamp that in Hyman and Heather using the sentiment. Thank you so very much. Because we like that. This would be a great thank you gift. You know, I could give that to somebody who has done something beautiful for me you know help me out or um, given me something some nice advice or looked after some children for me while I was away or you know just oh, so many things you need a thank you card for there we go and I've done it just a tad down this way mainly because that's how I'm sitting but also because I wanted to have enough room at the top to put my butterflies so that goes on there and i'm doing this all flat it's all flat i could put some ribbon on it possibly but i want it so that even though it's purple i suppose i could give it to a guy i'm not going to give it to a guy though probably am i to be fair it's a bit i think if i hello Be no i probably wouldn't give that to a guy either not with hello beautiful on it although you never know sure might get it um <laughs> okay so then um let's have a look uh, emma uses inches too but only for crafting <laughs> yeah i know so many things um so many things are in inches that we see about crafting because they come from our lovely american friends so you know it's always good to know both that's what i say but i do tend to now work in centimeters with my trimmer and stuff so okay yeah, there we go and for our envelopes and stuff. So I'm just punching out some of these. I'm not sure which colour I'm going to use, so I'm going to punch out both. These are the feathery ones. I do like the feathery ones. There we go. Punch those out. And then, like I did with this one, I did a bit of both. So I put some feathery ones on and then I overlaid it with that. Yeah, Patricia, I think the, the colours do work really well, don't they? And then feather. feather. Oh, I think blue. Blue on these ones. Right. Where's the other? See, now I've lost a butterfly. How can I lose a butterfly? Oh, no, it's under there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear me. I don't know whether I want to put another large one on, though, because it's, it's a bit large. Mm, no, not sure about that. I need another small one. So I'm going to punch out another small blue. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Punch out a small blue. I'm not used to having it on Zoom, but I think you can see better on Zoom. I think you get better image. Here's hoping. So let's do that. Right, and you can use those other butterflies for something else, you know. And then what I might do is I might just put, although I do like this one, decisions, decisions. But if I've got that one, can I do, I probably should do those really, shouldn't I? And keep that for something else. Although that looks okay there maybe, and then maybe, see, because you need an, an odd number. You have to have an odd number. It can't be, it can't really be even, I don't think. And that looks like too much. No, nope, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. Okay, now I've made a decision. Now I can stamp the, the little bits in the middle of these back in with Han and Heather again. I hope you all agree with my um, crafting decisions. But if not, well, I don't really know what I'm going to say about that, really. <laughs> because, um, I don't know, I think they look good. And that's the thing, isn't it, about crafting? Everybody has a different idea about what they prefer. 
and that's fine. We all like each other's ideas on crafting. It's great. Lots of people have lots of ideas that I think are smashing. There we go. But I do have to say I like that one. Yes, that's worked. So I've put Highland Heather in the centre of those butterflies, and I think that just brings it all together. And I do love the colours of this. I think it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to um, glue down this one here. So this one's flat like that. And then I'm going to curve the ends of this butterfly. Oh, look, I'm getting loads of hearts. Thank you. Curve the ends of that butterfly and use that with stamps. Put your teeth in, stamping dimensionals. Which are here. I have to say, I've, um, I, do, I, I'm, I can't go anywhere now unless I've got both types of stamping dimensionals because they're just so great for all the different jobs that you need them for. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to use the littler ones and we're going to put these up. Pop these up on the floor. And they just fit perfectly, almost like they've been designed uh, to, go, to go in the middle there. So that one's going to go there. And then this one. It's gonna go back up here. There we go. I think that looks nice. And then these words are obviously a bit longer than these words, so we do want to put some bling, some sparkle, some wink, some whatever we call it. Twink. A twinkle, somebody said. Bev calls it twinkle. I like that very much. So we're gonna put some twinkle on Bev. Um if you watch this later, and I think I want it down here. Oh, it's moved. Oh, no, no, it's stuck on my finger. There we go. There we go. That's not very much twinkle there, is it, really? I need a bit more of that. There we go. Put one up in there. And then I might just put one over here. And then that way we've got our three, because, you know, three's good. So, yeah, I like that. Do we like that? Is that okay? I think that's finished off all right, isn't it? That's good. So how quick was that? Not very long at all, really. I've only been gassing for oof, 45 minutes, and that included all the swapping and everything. So, <laughs> so what do you think? We like. Which one do you prefer? Which colour do you prefer? The yellows. Oops, let's get that in bright light. The yellow one with man mango melody, or the blue and purple one with balmy blue and highland heather. I kind of like both. I do really kind of like both. Let me know which one you prefer. It's always good to know. And then when I put this uh, Facebook Live up on YouTube, uh, you can then look back at all the swaps, see all the comments, um, not see all the comments, see all the swaps that I've got that are flat lay. And then I will show you all the other swaps that I've got another time. In fact, what I might do is I might just video those this week and pop it up online because obviously next week is yet again a bank holiday. How rude. So in the UK, we're not working. So I'll have Sean around next week. So that means it will be harder for me to do my bit live videos because he'll be getting in the way. No, he won't be getting in the way, but you know, he, he, he might want to actually have a life and a cup of tea and we might actually want to go out somewhere together. So, um, so I won't be, I won't be here next week on my live but i will um i'll video all the 3d stuff and i'll put them up and then i'll be back again the following week which will be the monday after my next retreat weekend so again i might be a little tired but we had such great like such a great time um this past weekend and i loved it very much and so did everyone else i've had some really really lovely um reviews in my in my group and uh, on here so that's great and oh look i've got oh, lots of things lots of comments beautiful beautiful purple and blue blue both yellow and orange but i wouldn't say no to either <laughs> well said emma <laughs> i wouldn't say no to either either <laughs> so i think this one's got the winner so far but i quite like that one although i know one of my team would hate that she's not a, she's, sue's not a yellow person so sue would prefer that one but there you go it just goes to show doesn't it that we all like different things and that's great so have a wonderful week if you you can't get the butterfly duet just yet but i will be putting it up 
um, as soon as it comes live, I'll be posting about it. But you can, of course, get the Gingham Gala. And if you get the Gingham Gala now before it retires, then you can make these all the way through next year when you when the butterflies are in stock. And uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? I was going to say that. Uh, oh, you know what? I can't remember. Oh, I've got so many hearts coming up on the screen. I'm completely. <laughs> oh, you've um, yes. Look at you guys go. So thank you. Um, yes, I had a, a. It was a great time at retreat, and uh, I am taking bookings now for my October retreat. That's what, that was the other thing I wanted to say. And um, I will obviously put all the instructions and stuff and all the measurements and what I did for this up on my blog tomorrow. And speaking of butterflies and also of cake, um, if you have been waiting for my pop-up video, um, it's now up on Facebook, uh, on YouTube. I did my video last week on how to do the pop-ups, you know, with the butterflies that came out and the uh, cakes that came out. So I know some of you have been waiting for that. So uh, please pop up and have a look at that. <laughs> pop up. Go up onto YouTube and have a look at my pop-up video there. Alrighty. Oh, thanks for all the loves. That's so cool. Thank you, guys. And um, have a lovely day, afternoon, or night time. Okay? <laughs> and I will see you again soon. All right. You take care, everyone. See you. Bye.